Okay, we're going to cook my cod with crispy white bait and a nice watercress salad. So hopefully you've got your two pans on the hob, like that. One for the, we filled, half filled with oil for the white bait and another pan to fry the fish, just getting nice and hot. Although if you see them smoking at any point, that will be too hot, so just press pause and just go and turn the heat off and you can turn it back on later. It's absolutely fine. So first off we need to make the dressing, so just cut your lemon in half and then we're just going to use half the juice of half a lemon. I'll just get rid of some of these pips. And I use one of these little jars. I just find that it's easier because you can pop the lid on and just give it a shake up. But you can use a, a bowl and whisk it up, that's absolutely fine. So just juice of half a lemon and keep the other half because we'll use that for the white bait in a little bit. And then we just need two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Here we go, and get rid of that. And a little twist of pepper and a pinch of salt. You just need a little pinch of salt. And then whisk it up, or pop the lid on, and give it a shake. You just want to do it till it's all emulsified. There we go, and that's your dressing done. So we can leave that to the side, we're done with that now. And now we just need to take your food bag, and your corn flour, and just put two or three large teaspoons of, or well, tablespoons even, of corn flour into the bag. Don't bother measuring it too exactly because it's just we're going to coat the white bait with it. Another one, I think. There we go. And a pinch of salt in there as well. So now all we need to do is take the white bait and the milk. And let's just, I'm just going to check my pan, just check nothing's smoking. No, I'm, I'm still okay. So just check yours to check it's not smoking yet. So with your white bait, you just want to take a couple at a time and just simply dip them in the milk and drop them in the bag. Here we go. Oh, it's trying to swim away. Yeah. So you can leave the bag to one side, get rid of the milk and the plate, and then bring in your card. So now we just need to give this a twist of pepper and a good pinch of salt on both sides. Oh, and now I've managed to get fish on both hands, so I'm just going to give my hands a little, a little wash. And if you've done the same, just try not to contaminate anything with your raw fish hands. Right, hopefully you're still with me. We just need to pinch of salt on the skin side of the fish neck. There we go. And we can take the cod and your white bait over to the hull. Right. So with the white bait, all you need to do is just close up the bag and we'll just give it a shake up. So just seal the bag and give it a shake. All you're doing is coating it in the flour. Just nice and easy. There we go. 
And we can leave that to the side. And we just want to make sure that we're getting plenty of heat into the pan for the, for the cod. I'm actually going to turn this up onto the high heat. So we want to get this nice and hot and that will make sure that you get a really nice crispy skin on the cod. So that's exactly what we're looking for. You'll know if the pan's the right temperature because you'll hear a really loud sizzle. If you get that sizzle, you know that you've got the pan hot enough. And it won't stick either, that's the other thing. There we go, that's getting really nice and hot. Hopefully yours is the same. So you just need a little swirl of oil. And then just place your cod fillets just away from you into the pan. Now go and get rid of your board and wash your hands. Right, the cod is happy in there, cooking away, you don't need to do anything at this stage. Hopefully you've got your plate with your kitchen roll and your tiny little cube of bread. Because this is what we'll use to test the temperature of the oil, to check it's hot enough. So you can just leave the cod on the heat, that's absolutely fine, and just drop your little bit of bread into the oil and let's see what this looks like. There you can, if yours is looking like this, see it's just bubbling away instantly. It's risen to the surface straight away and bubbling away, you know that that's hot enough. So we can fish him out because we don't want to eat it. And we just need to turn the temperature down on the fish. If you can see my pan's starting to smoke now, that's getting too hot. So I'm just actually going to turn it off for a second. And then we can, whilst we drop in the white bait. So I'm doing these in two batches, the white bait. So just dropping in five at a time. There's three, and just be careful of your fingers when you drop them in. And another two. There we go, and that's bubbling away nicely. So I'm just going to give my hands a little wash. Right, and we can check the cod again. I've just turned the heat back on. Sorry, it's a bit noisy. And I'll just turn the cod to see how it's looking. There we go. Hopefully yours is looking something like this. Going nice and crispy on the skin. And that's exactly the, the look that we're going for. The white bait, that's really easy to know when it's cooked. Because they'll just go, start to go golden. As soon as they go golden, fish them out with your slotted spoon onto the paper. And this is a really great dish because it's really easy to do and it looks fantastic when you assemble it on the plate with the watercress. It just re it's one of these dishes that just works with the lemon and the fish. It's fantastic. There's nothing to do at this stage. And the reason why we do the white bait in batches is so that if you put too many into the hot oil at once, it would just cool the oil down. So we do it in batches to make sure that the oil stays nice and hot. How are they looking? Almost there. We'll just give them a little bit longer just to, just to start darkening slightly. I'm just going to turn the fish back over and we'll finish it off on the skin side. You don't want too much colour on the, on the fleshy side. Oh. There we go. Oh, a bit fiddly. There. The good thing about cooking it with the skin on is, 
skin side down acts as a really nice barrier against the heat. So the skin absorbs all the heat and it goes really, really nice and crispy, but it doesn't overcook the flesh. So it's just like a really, like a hot plate that it's sat on. That's fantastic. So we just leave these cooking away and we can take the white bait out now. So hopefully yours are looking like this, nice and crispy. So we'll just fish these out, pardon the pun, and just pop them onto the kitchen paper. And then we can pop the other five in. Hopefully there should be another five in here. You may have to search about for them a little bit. That's three. And just be careful of the oil when you put it in because it will be really hot. There we go. And you can get rid of your bag and go and go and wash your hands. Okay, I've just turned the heat off again on my fish, just starting to smoke. You just need to control the temperature. You want it at that high heat, the whole bit of the cooking, but when it starts getting smoking, you know that's too hot and it's that thing's starting to get a little bit dangerous. It will almost be done. I'm just turning the heat back on on my fish now, just to keep the heat going through it. There we go. So the fish will be done now, so we can take, turn the heat off and take your board and take the fish off and pop them on the board. There we go. And you can take the board with the fish, hopefully yours is looking like this, just slightly coloured on one side. If I turn this over, hopefully, without falling, there, nice crispy skin. You can take this over to your work surface and that will rest nicely there. Right, the second batch of white bait should be more or less done now. Just looking nice and golden. There we go, look nice and crispy. So we can take these out and add them to the first lot on the kitchen roll. And remember to turn the oil off. Don't want you burning down your kitchen. Right, we can take this over to the work surface now and we'll be ready to plate up in a sec. So the only thing left to do is just chop up the potatoes. So you've got your bowl and just roughly chop the potatoes into probably threes. Just little discs and then just drop them into the bowl. I cooked these potatoes half an hour ago so they're still warm but if you had them cold that would be absolutely fine or if they're a little bit hotter that's the easy, th the good thing about this it's just so effort free here we go and then in with the watercress on top of that Yeah. And we just want to give it a little toss together now, just to get things started to be mixed through. So just try and mix the potato in with the watercress. There we go. Now just take your salad dressing and give it a little shake or a little whisk again. And then pour it in. There we go. And now just lightly with your fingers, just toss the salad together, just to try and get everything nicely mixed together. All nicely coated with the really nice 
lemony flavour. Works so nicely with the watercress and then the fish with it. It's great. There we go. Right. Now I'm just going to give my hands a little wipe and bring in a bowl. And we're ready to plate up. Right. This is the easy bit now. So just take a nice handful of the salad. Trying to get some of the potato with it. And then just carefully into the middle of the bowl, or a plate if you're using it. There we go, just arrange it nicely, there, like that. Now we just need to take one of your cod fillets, pop him on top, and then lastly take the white bait and we'll just give it a quick squeeze over with the lemon and a pinch of salt. Quick squeeze over with the lemon. This is the other half of the lemon that we cut first off. And a quick pinch of salt. And now we just need to arrange these on top. How you do this is up to you with your artistic license, whether you want to build something like that or you want to try and build a little teepee. But essentially that's done and I hope you enjoy it.